Well, today is based on the fact that Bill 112, which is the law that governs tobacco use in Quebec, it has expired. And we are realizing in all the work that the spiritual animators do in the schools that no one's consulting our young people with regard to the revised law. So we thought we'd create a forum today to give our students the chance to express what they think and what they feel about this really important issue. You Companies know? really try to draw teens in and I never really looked at it like that in terms of you know the product placement and the prices and the advertisement and the amount of thought that goes into it it's for me at least it's unbelievable to look at it like that and the fact that people their job is to trap young kids or young adults I guess into buying products that will eventually kill them I, to me that's not understandable but well today's event was to promote to everybody and all the teenagers mostly that smoking is terrible for you and that teenagers don't realize it because they try to be more hip or more cool or because of peer pressure and also uh, the spiritual animators are here today with all of us so we can be able to bring these projects to our school and try to promote it in our community also. Well, I came here today thinking that hey I get to miss school and I get a credit <laughs> and then I realized that wow this is actually this is actually something they're teaching us something really important and I realized that these companies are really trying to like put these teens down a like really dark path. A lot of partners to be able to, re to put together today. Uh, most importantly are the students and what they will bring back home uh, to their school, to their community, even within their own family if there are any members in their, their home life that are smoking. Uh, it was to sensitize them, to make them aware of the wrong advertising of cigarette companies and what they can do as young people. The fact that, um, in terms of buying tobacco, there's never, like, people get carded and stuff, but it's never severe. So what I was thinking was, what if tobacco, if smoking was taken closer to the act of, for example, fishing in the U.S.? You always have to get a permit. So why isn't that a, a, a rule that would come in with smoking tobacco? Because of the fact that if people were to buy uh, permits before being able to purchase tobacco, you'd have to be 18, right? So you would know the age of the person buying it the government would make money off of these permits, it would kind of be an advantage for everyone. And people who want to quit would save money because they wouldn't have to spend the money on actually buying the permit. So it would add an extra inconvenience. On these papers that you need to sign to get the permit or whatever, there would be the fact that there's all the warnings of what people tend to not usually put on product placement. So the risk of cancer and that kind of stuff. So I think that that's super important elements that could be put onto there. And I think that that would prevent a lot of youth from smoking. And I know my friends, for one, wouldn't go through the hassle of getting permits, so I think that would prevent a lot. Issue. You know, our students are on the front lines of this issue. They're the ones that experience the peer pressure. They're the ones that are directly targeted by the tobacco companies, and we wanted to try to find a way to give them the opportunity to say what they think, how they feel, and maybe help us find, brainstorm some ideas on to how we could get the message to the minister of what, what's important to them on this issue. Like all the marketing tactics that I really didn't know about before, and that really they are doing it for our money even though we're so young and we're vulnerable so it's like very easy to like captivate our eye what is what is tobacco doing for me and then maybe they'd see the the bad part of tobacco like oh yeah I could get cancer from this and then they'll say okay maybe maybe to, uh, maybe smoking isn't that good for me and then it might make people stop smoking they're paying so much money just to smoke like poisonous substances and that really the government is just doing this because they want to make a lot of money and they don't realize that it's going to affect them like later on in life and that they sh we should do an activity like this to really like promote the bad messages. Uh, I'd like to thank Student Services Department, particularly the spiritual community animators who have worked with their students not only for this uh, special event but for other activities as well. It was an awesome, great day to see the passion, the interest, the creativity of the message they want to send forward.